trance instrument. some rocks all right so hope y'all like that that's a beer and bow it's from brazil came from angola it's a pretty simple instrument but there's four things there's four things you got going on with that you're doing two things with the right hand two things with the left hand and yeah it's pretty cool anyways rocks are you guys ready for some rocks oh my god you are going to be crazy all right Tonight, what's left of tonight? I got at least a couple hours in me, I think. And we're going to show you some shit. All right, here we go. I'm going to start off by just, you know, having a good time. This is a little project that I haven't finished yet that I'm probably going to wear. But I don't know. Maybe I'll sell it. This is an Aho White beaded necklace. These are not small. Stocking your stuff and need all the things. Woo! All right. Joy, um, I don't know what you're stocking, but if it was something that was not in a live show, uh, we can talk about that after the show because I'm going to show you all this now. And then I'll, you know, you can email or DM me and we can go. Uh, we can talk about whatever else you want that's on the websites or whatever. If it's something from live shows that you've seen, that's not a problem. But I, if I can't access it, then I can't help you during the show. But I'm happy to help you after. Anyways, yeah, this is crazy. This is this crazy ball and Aho White necklace that one day I will put a clasp on it and put it on. <laughs> it's not affordable. It's definitely not affordable. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you that because that's, that's a fun project. I made a whole lot of beads uh, five years ago, and this was the remnants of that. All right, let's go to it. What should we do first? Expensive collectible material or affordable Ahawite Moldavite? There's nice quartzes, stuff from my collection that's for sale. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys want to see? What do you want to see? I guess we can bang out some of these requests. Somebody, who was it that was talking about fulgurites? That was Amber? I don't remember. Amber, did you show up yet? <laughs> Russian, Russian what? Chris wants cabs. <clears throat> Russian calcite. Here's that Russian calcite floor that you had asked about Russian calcite. This is one of the ones that I do have. This is like... Two stages of calcite with siderite in between. So it's like calcite, siderite, calcite, which is kind of cool. That's Don Lagor's 2004 kind of deal. Mito, I'm really sorry, man. I spent like eight minutes to ten minutes looking in the flats, and I did not find my Russian tourmaline. I, I did find another couple of a couple of watermelon-y-ish paprock pieces that I can show you. Um, all right, whatever. Let's go through it here. Let's do, yeah, he said collection. Let's do collection first. That'll be fun. Because there's a tourmaline in here you're going to want to see too. All right, so let's start with this guy. 
Okay, so this is all collection material. There you are, much too many one of the Fulgurites. I got some Fulgurites there. We'll switch it out. No Russian. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, I got Russian stuff, but not tourmalines. Uh, I do have Russian tourmalines close by, but not the ones that he wants, I don't think. Anyways, these this whole first box is stuff that's coming directly out of my collection and is available for sale. This is called, I guess we'll call it a DX session. Uh, so this is a double terminated sheet type quartz with blue appetite all on the back. You are teasing. Don't tease me, man. What do you think you can do teasing me? Okay. Look at this. Blue appetites. I think this is Golconda. Just was just one calcite. Um, I had that one calcite, Russian calcites. I don't, I don't know if I have any other ones. I might in the basement, but that's not something I can f grab on short notice. So that one that I showed is what I do have that's available now. Anyways, that's a pretty cool rock. Appetites. This was a really nice pocket. And good for any quartz collector. I don't really know why I'm letting this one go, but I'm trying to just pare it down to the core collection and then some. And this is good. This is good, but I don't know. I'm letting go of some stuff. So this is out of the collection. How many pieces would you say currently in your personal collection? Well, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Because I'm not a very organized collector, and a lot of stuff that's technically in the collection is not really collection material. It's just kind of like hold for later, you know what I mean? So I'm starting to cull out that now and maybe pare it down to the core collection. I have no idea how many pieces it is. 300, 500, something like that. But, I mean, I, I, I definitely uh, quartz. I collect cabs and everything, too, like really inc crazy included cabs and whatnot. So there's a whole, you know, subset of that kind of stuff. Anyways, there it is. The first piece out of the collection. And sticker on that one is 1100 And let's see. So... I got to go through and get the first pick of everything that Jack Aker had. He's the guy who dug all the foot in my material in North Carolina. This is two of the pieces that I kept out of all, a bunch that came through my hands. I pretty much put the first big batch of it on the market through a friend when those came out. So this is foot mine, North Carolina. This is rhodochrosite. Uh, you can see how old it is. This came out of a really, really old guy's collection, and he had it glued to some stuff. And eventually I'll get around to taking it off. But this is Rotocrosite from North Carolina. One of like three or four pieces that I kept. And this one has a sticker of 500 on it. And if you're serious about anything, some stuff is negotiable. Some stuff I might be, might be pretty tough on. But yes, it's glue. What do you mean? This is perfect for you. This. Look, I glued it onto the back of your gluey, styrofoamy glue piece of shit. That's very good. So this also is North Carolina rhodochrosite. Look at that. Well, who would have ever thought that that's a fucking rhodochrosite? Mostly minerals. What is going on? How's it going? Mostly minerals. All right. So rhodochrosite coming out of my collection from the foot mine. How crazy is that? It's freaking orange. And the foot mine has like six or seven different varieties and habits of rhodochrosite. It was kind of blew my mind. Anyways, yep, so there's that. Stands up nice and good. And sticker on that one is 1500 Pretty cool piece. Super aesthetic, obviously well-placed. Weird shape, weird color. Locality is top. All right, so this one. This is from the fireworks pocket. Uh, the matrix on that is i think it's it's a rare mineral called bikitite b-i-k-a-i-t-e um which came from africa first and then this is the most prolific bikitite locale locality it's just a rarity it's a weirdo i don't know too much about it all right this is a shatakite in quartz from messina from the fireworks pocket this is the ahoite mine this is actually some of the coolest formation of shatakite ever it's in these weird blades it kind of looks like azurite but it's not the right color it was tested and yeah fireworks pocket that's a pretty cool piece it is a thumbnail and this one is 350 
Here is a papagoite that has a little tiny bit of ahoite. Just a little bit in there. This is quite a cool piece. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't actually really backlit it like this before. This is really cool. I didn't realize how much cool stuff was going on in here. And then look at the surface. It's like a secondary growth or something. Super, super weird. Anyways, yeah, that's also a thumbnail. That's a really good thumbnail. You can see it's kind of got like teeth right there. And this one is 1800. Really nice papagoids for you. It's very nice, very ecstatic, and very beautiful. Here's another papago white. This is from the Bullseye Pocket, which was 2011. And named after the circular growth of the papagoite. This one has two. Yeah, I would agree, Mito. I uh, I try not to shoot for the moon with any of my Messina stuff, really. Some of the prices that I do see are just like, what? I don't understand. But that's just me. So, you know, I price them how I think they should go, and that's that. So this one has trigonics, little triangles going on inside. Look at that. Look at the beautiful triangles. And this papago white, red, white, and blue. That one's pretty sweet. That one is marked 2300. And for those of you who don't mind a good polish, this is a pretty ridiculous piece. That is also available. And what's cool about this is that you can see this is like super, super, super clear quartz, which is not always common. Sometimes the center is if you're lucky, but you got to get through all this crust. But this one was just clean. And the Aho White, when you look at it from the inside out, it has a little bit of a chatoyance from the inside that you can't normally see from the outside. I don't know if this one's the best example, but... Cutting them inside out like that is really cool. And of course, beautiful sprays. This is all, I believe this is limonite. Yeah, shoo that's right. We got the good stuff. This is so beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so there you go, there's that one. That one is 1500. Right, what else do we do here? All right, now we're getting into a, wait a minute. That's not the price of that one. What happened here? I got a Rasta tourmaline to show you. This is a Brazilian piece. I got this from a guy that was the first year, the first week that he'd ever come to Tucson. It was a Brazilian guy. And he was just learning the market and it was really interesting times. I was teaching him about some stuff and everything. A lot's changed since then, but this was a piece that stood out. I kept this for a long time, at least 10 years. No, more like 15 years ago, I think I bought this one. <laughs> Do I ever just sit and stare at them for hours? I mean, not one piece, no. But I mean, I'm constantly surrounded by them, so I'm always playing. 
So, Rasta Tourmaline. And it weighs just under 10 grams. And I want 600 bucks for it. All right, there's the Rasta Tourmaline. Here is Jeremegevite on quartz, on a smoky. It's one of only like five pieces that I know of. That doesn't mean there aren't more, but it's not a very common occurrence. Most of the Jeremegevite was either loose or on that Foetite Tourmaline, and not so many of them on Crystal. So that's kind of a rarity. That's 375. This is a Demantoid from Madagascar from like 2006 or seven. I can't remember when those came. This one is a different color in my hand than what I see on the screen. I think it's like a click bluer on my screen so it's a little greener and it's like a mint green you can kind of see the mint color but it's a little still a little bit different but it's nice it's a really nice piece i had a bunch of these come through my hands and i kept two of them and this is the only one left uh actually i might have a matrix piece somewhere but anyways that one is 500 bucks 1321 collection stuff here is briefly this is a cumberland england piece came from the smithsonian and the tag from who sold it to the smithsonian is also here this is from like almost the early early 1900s this has got a lot of provenance and then this came out of the jack acres collection the guy with the foot mine stuff and i got it from him he didn't make a tag unfortunately but this came out of three pretty pretty prestigious collections and it's got two habits of calcite on one piece. And that one's marked 1,000. All right, what do we got next? Oh, here's your tourmalines. Oh, man, check this out. This is a perfect thumbnail. Perfect thumbnail size. Beautiful, amazing tourmaline with a double determinated quartz on top. Uh, why was it good enough for the Smithsonian? Um, you know, they probably got it in the 1800s from an English guy or like the early 1900s and they didn't have one and maybe they probably traded for it is what I think. Because I know they traded Jack for some of his stuff. So I imagine there was just a bunch of trading that went on and they that's how he got it. Yeah, this is pretty silly. So it's a tourmaline stick. With a doubly terminated quartz on top and wrapped with a, another tourmaline here. And this is competition thumb, competition grade thumbnail in my opinion. It could be a little brighter for that, but it's nice. It's good form. That one's 650. <clears throat> All right. Uh, here is the Mozambique piece that I mentioned to you. 1980s Mozambique was picked up, bought by someone's parents on a vacation. They were Australian. Bought this piece when they went to Africa in like the 70s or 80s. Uh, thumbnail competition. It's hard to describe. You just have to go to the shows and see. I mean, everybody's got a different taste on it. So, yeah, that's a pretty nice piece. I mean, this is, that's a beautiful gem crystal. Yeah, buddy, that's a really nice piece. And I put 1500 on it, which I think is actually pretty fair for what it is. Pretty sweet, man. All right, here's another one. This is weirdo from the locality. This is a green, green barrel from Angola. 
which Angola is not the easiest place to get minerals out of. They brought them, they brought them over the border to, to Namibia because Angola is just a hot mess. You can see this like optical play in the middle here. When I turn it, those are like, I, I cut a bunch of cat's eyes out of this material, not terminated ones, but so it's got little tubes in there that produces that somewhat of a cat's eye effect, which is kind of cool. And just decent color, decent piece, super weird locality. And it's a good collectible size. And 1500 on that one too. Cruzeiro Cranberry Reds. Oh yeah, I had some of those. Don't have any more. All right, what's next? Here's another competition grade thumbnail. Tourmaline on quartz. Quartz on tourmaline, a tourmaline on quartz. There's not a bad view for this one. Look, it's like beautiful like this. It's beautiful like this. Beautiful like this. There's no bad side. It's pretty cool. No, this is Brazilian. And put 750 on that one. So, yes, very nice of me and the girls ready. <laughs> Whoa, there goes the witch. Man. All right. Who else is here? We got to get the party started. Y'all get some comments. Let's get going. All right. What else? What else do we got? I'm going to have to bring some specimens back down to earth. This is a really cool, crazy tourmaline from Virgin de Lapa. It's a lavender core and pink on the outside. And it's got this crazy ass termination. Super weird piece. And that one's fifteen hundred. It's kind of my magic number. All right, what else we got? Oh, this one's really cool. This is Acroite. Tourmaline with a solid white core. And this is from northern Pakistan. Also a decent thumbnail. Just super weird piece. Wasn't sure what it was at first, but a little white tourmaline. What about that? And that one is two hundred bucks. 9917. It's a weirdo. It's a weirdo. All right. Like me. It is interesting. Super different. All right. Ooh. Throwing stones. All right. I got two Heliodor crystals. Nice, beautiful little etched crystals. <clears throat> that one's 70 bucks. 9922. And 99.27. Cute little etched guy. That one's 120. All right, we're almost done with the collection box. Which is good. Get on some other minerals. All right. This is emerald on quartz from Pakistan. Emerald on quartz is not a super common association. It's really not very easy to find emerald and quartz together. And the ones from Colombia, they just want stupid fucking prices. And so Pakistan produced some that are pretty decent. they more realistic than the Colombian ones. And this is a nice thumbnail. It'll... Also compete a little bit. Uh, that one's three fifty. Three hundred and fifty dollars. Yay! All right. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Two more rocks. No, nope. four more, three more, four more rocks. All right. Brazilian Heliodor. I call this my golf pencil because it's like the perfect size and shape for a pencil. It's literally like it's my putt putt golf pencil. <laughs> 
Heliodor, 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 Heliodor. Wee! What a beautiful stone. I have never done any competitions. I don't even have my collection on display for the most part, which is kind of sad, but I have some on display, but not the best stuff. That one's 1600 You want it. You should buy it, man. But it's 1600 I can wiggle a little bit. It's a nice rock. Top five? Yes, I definitely have a top five. Uh, five would be hard, but I definitely have a core collection that is pretty stupendous. Um, at least in terms of specimens. Yeah, I don't know how many of those would be all whites, though. That's the problem. Probably at least one. For sure, one and maybe two or three. I, I could probably have five Aho whites that are just my favorites, but then there's a couple other amazing things. Of course, I got a really nice Dioptase on quartz. <clears throat> uh, this is weirdo. I'll cut your lawn for three months. <laughs> I'm going to cut my own lawn next year. All right, so this is a super weird piece from Brumato. This is all Uvite tourmalines, all there. This is a quartz crystal, and this is magnesite. A bunch of weird magnesite. It's just a strange, weird, aesthetic kind of piece. Uvite tourmaline and quartz. A little bit of magnesite up in there. All right, that one there. Let's see how much that one's going to be. I think I'm going to take 300 on that one. All right, see. Florc, are you still around? I got a couple of these. Where's that other one? I bought a, I took an Amatrine out for you. Oh, is it in my pocket? No, where's that other one? All right. Last crystal from the collection. Is this tourmaline slice? Litocoatite from Madagascar. It's a pretty sweet one. And that one's twenty five hundred bucks. All right, there you go. That's my collection box for sale. Let's move on. I got these two amatrines. I don't like slices. <laughs> I don't like slices. You're gonna learn one day, my friend. Some tourmalines better slice. You don't have to like slices. All right, so Amatrine number one. I got a new light. Uh, no, I didn't get a new light. I'm using the same shitty light that makes a bunch of noise. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> Taped. Same piece of shit. Barrel top ten? What do you mean? I don't, I don't really collect barrel. That's why I'm kind of letting go of the ones that I have. Because, you know, barrels and tourmalines, I kept a few, but I didn't really collect systematically. And I couldn't really afford to. I, afford, I could afford to keep quartz, so I, collect, I collected quartz for the most part. Um, so I'm sure there's a few barrels left that I didn't pull out to sell, but I, I'm not a, I wouldn't consider myself a barrel collector. Maybe one day. All right, so this is Amatrine. It's an etched crystal. It's complete all around. It's from Bolivia. It's like 10 or 15 years out of the ground. And that one is 300 bucks. 16807. And yeah, squeaky life forever. I, I it doesn't bother me, but it is kind of annoying that it's squeaky. All right. And here's a nice elongated one. Amatrine etched. And that one is 375. All righty, there you go. Amatrines, that's what they got for that. Let's do, let's get into this boxy here. Let's start with fulgurites. What do you think about that? Camila, you ready for some fulgurites? Let me see what I did here. I just grabbed a handful. All right. 
So it looks like I got two small ones. Those can be 10 each. And any of these can be 20 bucks. And if you take more than one, you can get a discount again. So there's your Fulgurites. Camila, if you want to see them, there they are. If you want to see them up close, I'm happy to show you each one. And otherwise, I'm going to keep going. All right. Clam, last one on the right. All righty. Perfect. Anybody else? Fulgurites, 10, on the, 10 bucks on the top, 20 on the bottom. All right, $20 fulgurite. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, let's do that later. All right, sweet. Anybody else? Can I see three and four big ones? Yep, there's this one. And that one. five so these kind of formed with like a calcite when they they landed they're a little different than some of the other fulgurites these are moroccan all right floor number three thank you floor. i'm by myself now so i gotta write everything down as it goes with the late night all right, thank you, Mr. Flork. Anybody else before I put them out? We just, I can leave them there. Let's keep going. Let's do this. So we got Brandberg slices. Some really nice trapiche looking slices. Unblock, clam, last one on the right. Okay, I got you on that one. You want the last one on the right as well as the other one? Did you get two of them? And the first small one. So, Camila, did you want these? These are the three, right? So 10, 20, 20. We'll call it 40 bucks. All right. 40 bucks on that. All righty. Perfect. All right. We're going to put that back over there. Yay, Fulgies! What do you call me, an old Fulgie? All right, so, Trapiche Amethyst. This is a pretty nice one. This is Bramberg. Nice pattern on that one. Got 75 on it. We're going to take 50 bucks. $50 going once, going twice. Look at this one here. We got another little Trapiche shape. These are like cream of the crop. I picked these out of all the slices that I did, and these are like the really, really good ones. There's not usually very many good ones. That one's 60. We'll take 40 bucks. Obsessed with lightning. I used to have a bunch of lightning strike quartz crystals, but that was long, long ago, and I don't think I have any more of those. If I run across one, I'll let you know, but I really don't think I have them. There's another Brandberg. This one's got kind of like a, it's like a bat. Or some kind of insignia. It's pretty cool. 45. We're going to take 30 bucks on that one. And here's Running Man. La, 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 la. <laughs> it's the dancing lady. La, 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 the ballerina. ballerina. The ballerina in crystal. There you go. It's the amethyst with the trapeze type pattern. 125, we're gonna do that one for 80 bucks. 80 buckarooskies, 5414, ready, set, go. All right, last one of these. We gotta pick it up, pick up the pace, pick it up. Here's another one. Uh, Trapiche pattern in that one, too. Look at that. The balancing man. That one's 90, we're gonna take it down to 60. Oh, cool, Francine, thank you. I will see you. I can. Probably source a few, so I'll see if I can do that. 60 bucks on that one. Brandberg Slice. Perfecta Mundo. 
All righty. Here's my alien rotocrosite. You can feel the tingles. Look at this big, fat, crazy, thick. This is a this is a, a nice paperweight. You could just remind someone that they're uh, that they're an ape. <laughs> endless frills. Is that endless drawings with an en with a different account? <laughs> endless frills. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, alien. That's the alien. I got 900 bucks on that one. And let me see what we're going to discount it to. I'm going to take that down to 600 bucks. Big old fat paperweight. Beautiful alien. There you go. $600 paperweight. That's just what you need for Christmas. Okie dokie. This is Graves Mountain stuff on there. Schmutz and stuff. Turgonite. Turgonite on crystal. Turgonite on crystal math over there. <clears throat> hey, Sparky, what kind of pie are you brewing? That's a steal. What, for this? Or for the alien? 40 bucks? Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. We'll take 30 bucks. Whoop de doo. Whoop de whoop de doo. Whoop de whoop de doo. Whoop de whoop de doo. Graves Mountain. That was one of the first things I bought. The first time we went to Tucson, we were we went to Quartzite. Cheese now. Cheese now? No, quit quit, quit it if you're cheese, man. What are you talking about? I'm not being cheesy. Come on. Quit being rude. Oh, yeah, I know. Whatever, man. I can start blah, blah, blah. It's just, I'm tired of over... I'm, I am not going to succeed, but I'm single-handedly trying to adjust... These stupid fucking prices in the mineral world. I'm doing the best that I can to offer good prices and still make money. And some stuff you do better than others. But how long? I mean, I haven't been able to sell it at 900 bucks. So how long is it going to sit? I mean, maybe I don't have the right people looking. I could put it in a shop, but it's a nice piece for sure. 500 bucks is super cheap. That's, uh, that's definitely a wholesale price. But I don't care. <laughs> I want money more than rocks. Because I have too many rocks. All right. Here's a beautiful ametrine. Faceted pendant. Not pendant. Faceted stone. This is a banger. What is it? I missed it. They're talking about this. Rotocrosite alien. Big thick paperweight. And a heart. Yep, it's a heart, and it's an alien, and it's a roto, and it's got boobies. Look at that. Oh, man, this got everything you could possibly want. <laughs> Jeez. Mm. All right. Crazy-ass Amtrine. Got 300 bucks on that one. We'll take 200. It's less than 10 bucks a carrot. That's fucking great. Five hundred. Five hundred for the alien. All right. Somebody who makes jewelries. 2.18 carat, not flawless, nice tourmaline, good for jewelries. Ninety percent discount from what? From this? No, this this says I had it at nine hundred. But he was saying in a store, somebody would put like two or three grand on it, which maybe they would, but I don't know. I think that would sit. It's a cool piece. Is it that cool? I don't know. Maybe it is. But for you, it's $500. Uh, this tourmaline was 200 We're going to take 100 bucks for it. 
And this tanzanite was 300. We'll take, we're going to take 140 on it. Gecko face. Yes, that's what it is. It's a gecko face. What did you call me? <laughs> what did you call me? Let's say it was 3K. Yes, yes, you can buy it for 500 and go sell it for 3,000. That is very good business. Then you can come back in and buy some more shit. <laughs> okay, that's how it works. You just about to be, hey, man, I'm going to hustle this rock over here. You know what I'm saying? All right, this is uh, Benito White from California. 90 bucks on that one. We'll take 70. That's cheap. Look at all that Benito White. 70 bucks. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Oh, uh, no, not that. All right, what about this? I wonder if Nicole Endless Drawings ever came back. Huh? Somebody came in endless. Endless schmutz. Nope. Live crystal shop. Checking all you out. Yeah, you can look at this while I'm checking you out. Oh, Amber's still here. Uh-oh. All right, this is the largest single crystal of Hollandite quartz I've ever seen. And the guy who sold lots and lots and lots of them in the early 2000s. One of the biggest star quartz ever. Natural tip. It's just that it has a contact where it grew into a wall. And something like that. It's the biggest one ever. Even the guy from Africa. Look, he sent me that. And I bought this in like 2003. Covalite and smoky quartz. Yes, of course, darling. I have cabochons of smoky quartz with covalite. And this one was 300 bucks, and it'd probably take 200 bucks. It's a big one. Big old star quartz, man. You get in with them crystals. You know what I'm saying, man. You get in star. Shoo wee. Yes, darling. There is smoky quartz with covalite. Oh, here we go. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, this is strawberry quartz. Look at this beautiful. Look at this beautiful. What? Love that big star. What star are you talking about? Oh, the big star quartz. Yeah, it is pretty nice. All righty, strawberry quartz. Look at this. This is from Kazakhstan. Beautiful, nice, polished piece. Eyeball Medusa quartz of you mean the the Gila light Gila light quartz? I sure do. There's two types of Medusa quartz. It's all Gila light, but there's actually more like three or four types, and I have a bunch of that. I got, I bought a big parcel of it a couple of years ago that was like really old stock. I don't know why I'm putting this away. Fifteen fifty three eighty five. We'll take uh, that should be seventy bucks. Strawberry quartz. Yep. 65 will do on that one. That's cheap. I probably, I don't think I made money on that lot. Doesn't matter. All right. Uh, okay, let's do these. Yeah, I'm going to discount these amber carvings. Dis describe the difference between old stock strawberry and the newer kinds that's less expensive. The newer kinds are not from Kazakhstan, and they are not really strawberry quartz. The difference, the, the all right, so this is what makes strawberry quartz and nothing else makes it. It's, of course, it's the color of the needles, but the needles have to go in multiple directions. That's how I identify strawberry quartz. It's like it goes in all directions. It doesn't just go in one direction. And that's typical of this strawberry quartz material. And that's not, like, definitive by any means, but, like, the new shit, it's almost, it's, pretty much red aventurine but it's it's definitely silicate it's quartz but it, the, the flecks are different so they call it strawberry quartz but it's not technically strawberry quartz but you know nobody's really defined what strawberry quartz is and things change over time based on markets that push new names and information so that stuck strawberry quartz stuck with that material just like super seven stuck for anything with red needles like if it's got red needles it's super seven and like I didn't really like that change, but that's what I, I kind of adjusted to as well. All right, so this is amber. This has got a whole Buddha carvings. These are a little pricey, but we're going to discount them here. And I paid a, quite a bit for these. These were nice because these were done in Bali, and they were really, really well done. Uh, anyways, two ninety five. I can take two hundred on that. Uh, we can do pretty much a third off on any of these. Here's another one. This is another Buddha. Nice thick 
hold there. 222, we're going to take 150. Auto be a Trisket with the strawberry. All righty. I got you, Francine. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Do you have any more strawberry quartz? Um, I have. Let me grab them. Two slices on your recent Insta post, Super 7s. Uh, I have to look at the Insta posts. This is some cabs that I have of the same Kazakhstan material. And of course, I can take them out. They're okay. They're okay. Those are some better ones there. Hello, Quartz Fox. Welcome to Late Night Crazy Show for Throwing Stone. You like Zelda? What did you see? Oh, this is my son's. <laughs> you talking about? You talking about that? I don't even know what that is. I, th I assume that's what you're talking about. C, bottom left, three. All right. Oh, the light wasn't even on. That's helpful. So there's that one. Late night show so far has turned into high-end material. I sort of took it by request and got some stuff. I've got other stuff here as well. But it was, you know, at the beginning, I was like, what do you want to see? We started with collection, and now we're just rolling with it. Gotcha on... The Zelda, the crest. I knew it was something about gaming, something or other. <laughs> All right, so there's those. Uh, if you're interested, I'll just do this here. Uh, so this, that one's 60. This one is 30. My son is in a cult. He doesn't really play much Zelda. Uh, so 60, 30, 40 on those. Yeah, he doesn't play Zelda a lot. He plays a lot of other stuff. All right. Strawberry Quartz is there if you want to contemplate those good ones. 60, 30, 40. All right, what's next? You guys want to see these amber carvings? There's 10 more. Oh, this has got bugs in it. This is a whole colony of bugs. Whoa, did that move? Oh, man, that fucking freaked me out. <laughs> I thought it moved like a bubble. Ooh, the bug, it ran across the screen. <laughs> Look, it's a whole colony of midges or something. Whoa, man, I must eat so many mushrooms, man. The bugs are freaking out, bro. <laughs> Woo! All right, there you go. Whole colony of ants or whatever the fuck it is. 150 on that, and we'll take 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Um, 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 there's more Buddha carvings, but I'm not going to show you unless you want to see more Buddha carvings. Uh, this is... Another bug. Ooh, that's like a f little beetle or something. All right, so there's a bunch of bug weird shit in there. I'm not even sure what it is. That one's also 150. We'll take 100. Pop Rock is one of two. Oh, the rest of those are Vesuvianites. Here's this Pop Rock. You can see watermelon. 
nice little set of two attached by looks like acroite same tourmaline as that little guy it's kind of cool uh, yes we'll do the buggy for 80 not a problem if that's a claim selena say yes and we'll put it over here for you Selena. All right. All right, Selena, we got you on that. Okay, the very first buggy one. Are you talking about this one, the colony, or the other one? You wanted this one. That was the first one. Just confirm on that, Selena. You wanted this one, not that one, correct? All right. Colony of midges. What'd you call me? What'd you call me a colony of midges? All righty. Okay, Mito, you have interest in this? It is 12 grams, 12.3, and I probably should get like 250 for that. Honey bee amber? I do. Is that what you mean? Or are you talking, oh, you mean honey bee inside the amber? I have bees carved out of amber. I don't know if I have a bee. All of the amber that I have that's buggy is most of it went online. Um, there's one piece in here with a fly. Yeah, there's two more pieces here. I'll show you. All right. There's the, there's that pap rock. Here's the other one. And this is so old. The fucking tack that's on it is all fucked up. It's got to be changed. Uh, all right. This could use some cleaning. Love a new inside the amber? You mean a bee? Is that what, was that a typo? You want a bee inside an amber? I don't know if I can get a... I will look out for a bee inside an amber, but the carved bees, I can definitely show you that, Camilla. Those are nice. All right, so here's the other pap rock. It definitely will clean up a bit. All that dirt in there will go away. And... 17.6, 350 bucks. There you go. Those are my pap rocks. My pap smear rocks. Got any foxes? You mean like inside of amber? <laughs> yeah, I got a big fox inside of amber here. What do you know? All right, here's another bug. Wait, no, that's the one I showed you. And... Here's another bug. It's like a big tick or something. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that is. Sorry I couldn't find the Russian tourmalines fast enough. I have to spend a little bit more time. I know they're down there, but it's like in, my, in the 10 minute period that I had, I couldn't find them. But I know there'll be something there that you'll like. They're decent red. There's, you know, inch and a half to two inch crystals. Uh, there's not a lot, but I know there's there's something in there you'll like. Ladybugs. Yes. No. Yeah. Something like ladybugs. Whatever they are. They're little fat ladybugs. They've been eating too much. All right. So fat ladybugs. That's also 150. We'll take 100. And we got a fly in this one. Beetles. I had some really, really good bugs that we showed on the live a few times because my, my new camera just, man, it gets these great. You can see all the way inside. I don't know where the beetle is in this one. No, not beetle. You said beetle. It's got a, this one's a fly somewhere. Anyways, whatever. There's the amber. We're done with that box. Um, 
Florek, did you you said something about the Gila light, right? The Medusa quartz. I have calves. I'm assuming that's what you want because that's all that really exists. All right, here, we're gonna drop some bombs on you. All right, the fast, quick tour of Helolite. So this is what I traditionally knew as Medusa Quartz. This is Helolite, like Gila Monster, G-I-L-A-L-I-T-E. It's a rare copper silicate that only comes from Pariba State, Brazil. They call it Pariba Quartz, too, because it grows in the quartz, and it's really similar looking to Pariba, but it's not tourmaline. It's a copper silicate. And so I have quite a good stash of these really crazy, amazing ones, and they're not cheap, but they're amazing. Where is Nicole? You should call her and tell her to get out of bed right now. She, she drove 10 hours to New Jersey. What she think she's going to do? She's going to just drop us in the middle of the night? Come on. No, I'm kidding. Silly East Coasters. Oh, well, look at you, Mr. Bill, coming back from your party, huh? Coming back from breakfast. All right, so we got, we're taking out the good shit tonight. The late night shit, this is the crazy stuff. You ready? So, Gila Light, this stuff is fun. This stuff is not cheap, but it's really good. So, there's three of these. Flork, this is what you were asking about, right? So there's that type. And then I'm in the mall. Shoot me. This is the other type. This is the type that got GIA's attention and everybody's like, oh. No, nobody has raw terminated crystals of this. They didn't exist. They all got cut. I don't even know if there were terminated crystals, but they don't exist. I've never seen one. It doesn't mean they don't exist, but I've never seen one. And if I did, I sure as hell wouldn't sell it. <laughs> Unless I had two or three or ten, depending on how good they were. Um, so those are those, and those are those. So if you guys are interested in the Gila Light stuff, I can price it out. But they, yeah, the bubbly ones are neat. Uh, so let's see, just to give you an example, this is going to be... So this size and quality, this is like 200 bucks. And this last one, that one is uh, this one is like 350. Yeah, so that's kind of the range. All right, anyways, let's show some more rocks. Let's eat a piece of orange. Mm. <laughs> All right, what else to show you? Awesome. All right. This is a piece coming out of the collection. It's available. It's a nice Herkimer. It's pretty darn clean. And it's pretty sharp. It's not flawless, but it's... It was good enough to keep. It has some rainbows like most Herkimers do. Uh, yes, I have Klarna and Afterpay and Shop Pay and everything you could possibly want under the sun. So, for sure, you can do any of those. Camila, how can I help you? 
we are going into the collection, so you can do it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Selena, sorry. Let me do that. The buggy one to the ladybug, which is this one. All right, so there's the buggy one, and there's the ladybugs. That good? Yes, Camila, I can help you. You can do any any kind of pay you need. All right. Perfect. All right, this is my Herc coming out of the collection. That one is 1200 bucks. It is a very nice and beautiful one. Oh my goodness. Okie dokie, what's this? Alrighty, let's see. This one's got bubbles somewhere. Payment plans. Yes, we can do payment plans. There's some black shit in the middle of this crystal that moves. You see that black stuff in the center? Whoa, there's a bubble in there moving really slowly. You see it? It's got black shit attached to it. That's so cool. A little carbon. So there's that in the middle. I missed that the last time I showed it. And then there's a couple other spots. See? Zip. 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 Someone was asking for these. Yes. Uh, there's no petroleum in this one. I don't think it's UV reactive. Um, let's see. Yeah, no, it doesn't react. There's no, there's no petroleum inside. Uh, the ones with the black carbon like this, this is from Sichuan province in China. And it's, uh, it's a carbon mineral that sticks to the bubble. Which is really kind of cool. And there's no other locality that does this that I know of. Uh, well, there's different ways, but this is definitely super, super unique to this one locality in China. And I've been buying these since 2003. I got to pick through a huge batch way before the Chinese even cared about any of this stuff. They were just selling it. They didn't care what was inside of it. And now they really care. And everything's expensive. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't know if it'll ever go back. Hopefully it will. Anyways... So this has got lots of bubbles going on, lots of places to explore. This is normally 150. We'll mark it down to 100 bucks. So there is that. Here's another. This is a weird piece from the collection. Coming out of the collection, this is quartz, nicely aesthetically balanced and placed on matrix with these two sidecars, and this is all what I believe to be Matramite. And this is uh, iron staining. This is Matramite that got up and then got underneath this secondary growth of quartz on the outside, which is really weird. I've got a weakness for bubbly rocks. I've got a weakness for quartzes and especially copper silicates. It's a big fucking problem. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not a problem at all. I've just got lots of copper silicates. It's actually a, a good thing to have now because everything that you put away in this industry goes up in value. Not everything, but a lot does. The Enhydro was 150 marked down to 100. Can probably do 90 for you, my dear. But be careful. It's only a problem for my wallet. Yes, I understand. I know. I know, I know, I know. That's why we get into selling. So we can feed the habit of collecting. It's kind of funny. All right. Anyways, this is from Namibia. Matramite underneath the secondary growth of quartz. Kind of a just neat, weird aesthetic piece. That's 350 bucks. Super strange thing. Here's a gem silica. A very good one. This is Raymine 2018. 
I have great credit, never cared until now. Yes, well, what you should do is you should spend all of your credit on crystals and then tell them to screw off and you want to keep your crystals. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. That's bad. That is not good for you. <laughs> Look at this beautiful, crazy ass piece. Super. This is super, super, super quality. This one is 300 because it's really high quality. High quality night. And this one is a 500. <laughs> well, I'm not going to buy a boat. All righty, there's some crystals. There's some crystals. Oh, so this one, this one might mess with your head a little bit. This is a proper rainbow lattice from Australia. Also coming out of the safe. D accession. Yeah, it does. It really does look like gummy. It's polished on both sides. Sun, moon, stone, sun, stone, moon, stone, sun, stone, moon, stone, stone, stone. Here we go. Elongated Tessin growth quartz. Uh, I definitely have Tessin habits. I don't know how elongated you need, but I do have them. Um, anyways, this rainbow lattice piece is 460. And I could take 400 bucks on that one. It's really good. That is hardcore. Uh, let's see. We showed some... Tessin habits this morning. Here's a Tessin habit. This is from North North Carolina produces a lot of Tessin habit. I don't know how elongated you need, but this is a twin. It's a little bit of a smoky citrine color. This is from the North American Emerald Mine. And here's your Tessin shape. Like that. Tapering from bottom to top. Yeah, so that's one of many. I have lots of Tessins. I don't have a lot right in front of me. Oh, sorry. This one uh, was marked 222. We'll take 150. 10106. Uh, what is a Tessin? Here's a hotspot Tessin habit. This is Brazilian with the natural irradiation spots. That one's a hundred bucks. All right, what next? Um, this is a really nice rainbow garnet from Japan. From Kose Mine. The rainbow lattice is pretty special. And uh, this one's 125. And let's see. Oh, here's a really nice. Really nice water bubble. In a light amethyst and smoky with lots of hematite sprays or whatever you want to call that. This is like front and center. You ain't got to look too hard to see that one. Rainbow Lattice 350. Yeah, I could do that. That works for me. This is sexy. This one is 200. Very nice. It's got a good rainbow in there, too, when you hit it just right. So the rainbow is, like, right behind the pocket of water. So you can, like, check out the rainbow. You can check out the pocket. You can check out the rainbow and the pocket. And then all the hematite. Look at all the shit. Woo, look at all this hematite. Man, it's, like, little, like... I don't even know what to call that. It's like little lightning bolts. Little hematite lightning bolts here for this $200.
we can do for 160 for you tonight. Very special price. This is type locality for Cumberland Habit Courts from Cumberland, England. Is that a claim? You want to do it? 350? I'm putting it aside for you. Ready, set, go. Confirm. That I think it means confirm when you said thank you, Rusty. Thank you. Come again. Where is our little person that says thank you? Come again. Nicole, Margaret, and what are you doing sleeping? Oh, what is your name again? Wild Free Divine Vampire. Wild Free. Is that a commit? Is that a is that a yes, darling? Just give me a one more time that I know that that's a commitment at three fifty. Divine Vampire. Alrighty, very good. Perfecto mundo. Okie dokie, what's next? What is next? Oh yes, we are doing this. Oh, a little bit of time, please. You mean time to pay or time to think? Oh, checking your bank. Okay, well, it's set over there. If you, if somebody else comes and snakes it from you, then we'll see. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't snake it from her. This is an old collection piece. This came out of my collection. I got a better one, so I'm letting this one go. It's Cumberland Habit from Cumberland, England. The type locality for Cumberland Habit, which is Beta Quartz, is also known as that. It's bipyramidal on top of bipyramidal quartz. Very, very important quartz habit for us quartz junkies. This one's on beautiful hematite. Beautiful hematite. Coming directly out of our collection. Oh, you want it, huh? You want the rainbow lattice? You can take it from it right now, Melange. Do it. Just do it. Put on the pressure. Put on the pressure. Clam it at three. At three. Raise the price. 400 bucks. Ready, Seco? Anyways. Cumberland, England here. 600 bucks. We're going to take 375 for this beautiful, amazing piece. This is a piece of history. This is a very important quartz uh, locality. And we're doing the, the special discount. Huh? Ah, uh, ah, uh, all right. All right, what else is here? Amethyst and Smoky with red needles. This is from Irango, which is weird to have red needles from Irango. This was 2014, something like that. And that's one of the nicest pieces in the pocket. Nice, beautiful piece. Put 300 on it. We're going to take 200. Bada bing, bada boom. What are you going to do? Push the button. All right. This flat is done. What's going on with yous? You're dying. Don't die, Francine. Come on. We still got to, you know, we still got to hang out. <laughs> what happened here? You guys see these? Etched amatrines. We need, to, we need to drag some more people up in here. Be like, hey, hey, come over here. What are you doing, huh? I'm getting tired already. Beautiful ametrine crystals. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. All right, what else are we going to show you? <clears throat> oh, watch it, watch it. A nice meteorite. The ring, the meteorite rings are pretty badass and they're not expensive. But yeah, no problem. No problem. All right, where's this going? Rainbow lattice back in the box. Oh, there it goes. Rainbow lattice is back on the table. Can I see the white tourmaline again? The white tourmaline. I had a feeling you was going to take that when I said it. Clam the white tourmaline. Yippee! White tourmaline is going in your box. Yippee! All right, where's this pen here? I gotta write it all down. Much too many. All right.
Alrighty. Perfecta mundo. Okie dokie. What's now? Palisite. I only have one palisite slice and it's pretty big and it's over a thousand dollars. And I don't have a lot of meteorites. That was the only white tourmaline I've ever had. It's the only one I've ever seen. Show you the palisite. Uh, yeah, I mean, give me a second. I gotta pull it out. Fight over the palisite. Here's my palisite. <laughs> you have been waiting for this moment. You have been waiting for this moment to arrive. Palisite cries. <clears throat> palisite. There you go. That's all olivine in the middle. This is, uh, which one is this? Semchen. It's a Russian one. Semchen, 1200 bucks. Oh, should it be more? Maybe it should be more. That is old price. Then we are not going down, but we can do up. We can give you the special Russian price of double price. Especially if your name is Russian. How much to split it? Uh... I'm not going to split it. I could drop it, see how many pieces we get. <laughs> no, that would be dumb. <laughs> nah, we're going to leave it as is. All right, so there's a palisite. What about this? How cool is this? Malachite, crazy Chatoyant Malachite. Look, it's like aliens. Look, there's the alien ship and there's all the little aliens that are coming out. What a crazy thing. Malachite and all this blue Chrysocola. Yeah, this is crazy. 300 bucks for this one. What a cool rock. All right, and there's one more of this. Look at that. That's the next slice. Man, what a crazy ass rock. Look at this thing. Why 1200? Because that's the size. You heard what she said. It's probably worth more. I, I put that price on that piece like 10 years ago, eight years ago. 90 grams. Yeah, it's probably more like 1800 now, maybe more. So that's the way it goes, especially with meteorites. Jeez, man, they like figure out exactly what it is. And then after like five to 10 years, it becomes really stable and whatever's the most stable it has the longest shelf life and then it's like it goes up in price like crazy if there's a limited supply gamut's offer i did not get a comment from gamut gamut what does your offer yeah it depends on what type of meteorite some of them can be really expensive uh, Gamut, try again. Maybe don't lead with a price if you did. Uh, I, I'm, I don't know if you did or not, but it didn't come through. Which is stupid, Facebook. It was that kind? Well, this, uh, yeah. I got it. With the olivine. Yeah, there's some that are more valuable than other ones. It depends on, just because it's this type, it, it depends on the fall. It depends on the amount of metal content. There's a lot of different different variables to why it's valuable sometimes if they only find a little bit of it 
Yeah, it just depends. It can be super weird. All right, so what else do we got? Gamut, I'm still waiting to see your offer. Hopefully Facebook or if Instagram won't screw us around. What about this? Here is a, a heart with a pyrite right in the center. Oh, my heart. What a beauty. That's just a random piece in some random box that I'm in. What is going on here? That's really random. Pyrite inside of a heart. I think that's from Messina. Oh, yeah. That is. That should be from Messina. That's pretty cool. Immediate payment. I got one. I got... Immediately payment, Gamut. That's the only thing I got. But I didn't get the rest of the, the offer or whatever it was. <laughs> Anybody else see his, see his offer? Flork, you're seeing it. What happened? All I saw is immediate, immediately payment. <laughs> That's all I got. Oh, man. What a silly game. Stupid Facebook shits the gram. Iron Heart. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum -ba -dum -bum. I'm going to say 75 bucks on that one. Rainbow Lattice to 300. How did I know he was that? I, I intuited that that's exactly what was coming. Flork, I had a feeling he was going to do that. I really want 350 for it. I put 460 on it. I think it's worth every bit of 350. Why is this not opening? <laughs> so 350 is my last price on the Rainbow. I'll ship it for free. Man. Fuck. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm not getting that open. Sweet. All right, Gammon, I got it. 350 on that for you. Look at this crazy fire agate. Please, Uncle, 350, my friend. I don't want to do 300. I know I'll get 350 for it. It's really good. That one. All right, what's next? Showed you the fire agate. Mm, what else we got here? I still haven't determined if he's accepted the counter offer. <laughs> oh, gamut. I can't tell. Damn it, gamut. He just said, please. Uh, okay, you'll take it. 350 for you. You got it. Look at this opal. This is pretty cool. Nice opal slice. All right, let me write this down here. Gamut. All right, we got that. Good job. I made you move the box with white tourmaline. Yeah, look, get out of the way. We didn't do anything in this box yet. Oh, here, I'll show it again. Yeah, the rainbow lattices with the triangles are weird. I had a couple of those. I still have a few really good pieces. Eventually, they'll come up. Yeah, buddy. What's up, Noah? Late night lives. What are you doing up? <laughs> we raging over here. All right. Rainbow lattice. There you go. What else can I show you? Oh, my goodness gracious. <clears throat> um, what about... 
about affordable ah white they don't have a lot of color though i don't want to spend the time you guys aren't going to want them how about this this is sweet cyber monday specials baby it's cyber monday already we're gonna just stay we're gonna go live for the next 24 hours how about that oh i don't need to take this off oh rusty what are you doing son of a bitch oh it's got shitty tack anyways needs better tack so this is a japan law twin from japan go figure they might as well have some of those if i can get it back in here I'll make coffee. No light ah white. That's right. I know. Let's not do light ah light ah white. Poor those poor crystals. They just get so misused. All right. Japan law twin quartz from Japan. That's a hundred bucks. I got a couple of them. They're pretty nice. What else can I show you? Let's see. Oh, there's stuff in this box here. There's a nice fluorite that's cheap. You'll make coffee. Man, I could just stay up all night. We'll just do it. Come over. Let's make coffee. I, I haven't stayed up all night in a long time. All right. Fluorite on quartz. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing. Aha white for life. That's right. Aha white is my jam. And this one's 75 for this nice fluorite on quartz. We're going to take 60 bucks. How about that? That's from Namibia. Nam, bam, ba, dam, bam, bam, bia. Nam ya. Nam ya. Nam ya, nam ya. You stay up at least once a week. One one night a week. I'm not like that. I go to bed early. Unless I do this shit. I should just stay up. But then they get all screwed up the next day. And I gotta make your orders. And I got all this other shit I gotta do. Nah, stupid excuse. We should stay up forever. Late night rocks forever. I'm tell you what, in Tucson, y'all better be ready. I'm gonna be up a lot. <laughs> we're gonna be up late because I don't even, I don't have a show to display in in Tucson anymore. So we're gonna be doing late nights with Jared and late nights at COVID show and late nights in here. We're gonna stay up forever. Show you guys what Tucson's all about. Boom. So much excitement late. That's right here. This is beautiful fluorite from Illinois. From Illinois, and that is ninety dollars, which is a very nice, good price, because everybody wants a crazy price for this shit now. Sixty-seven oh six. We could take seventy-five. How about that? Look at the zoning on there. Oh man, you got some lines, Illinois. Let's make some Illinois, Giorgio. <laughs> All righty, did I miss anything? Breakfast of Champions, Cyber Specials, Palisade is mad, Late Night Live, Spread Box Wide Open. Oh, Melange, you're killing me. <laughs> Late Night Live, Spread the Box Wide Open. Man. All right, what is this? Here's a good deal. This is a Nigerian tourmaline. And we take two hundred bucks on that one. Here, I'll 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 overview the Ahoite for you. Some of these are a lot. A lot of these are less than two hundred. Well, some of these are, but there's just there's just not a lot of color. I mean, maybe there's a Papagoite. You know, that one's probably a couple hundred bucks. Uh, same. This one's like two hundred. Uh, here's an Ahoite. That's got some decent color. The back is not complete. That's like 250. Yeah, so just a little bit of color. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. It's some uh, white. Whew. Anyways, we're not gonna go there. Maybe another night. Let's see what else are we going to do now. There is more tourmalines. Who's still around? Who's up for the late tonight? Let's see who's here. Noah's up. Quartz Fox is up. Camila. All right. Sweet. We got a good crew. Got a lot of new boxes fast. Well, hey, I mean, look, I got, a, you know, there's, there's boxes. There's boxes. I've got a system. 
Going to make coffee. Oh, man, are you really? You going to stay up all night? Pyrite in quartz hot, please. Sweet, you're going to be so stoked. This is from Messina from the Ahoyite mine. I sort of hesitated and thought I wanted to keep it, but I don't need to keep it. Quartz Fox is going to you. Messina Pirate Heart. All righty. What's next? Oh, man. Stay up all night to get Rocky. Crystal still dawn. Crystal shelving. Which ones? You talking about the drawers? It's not too late. I'm going to be shipping a bunch to Tucson this year, so you can come pick them up. Woohoo! All right. Hey, Noah, do you want faceted stones? It's part of your wire wrap parcel. Something like this. Or these. I thought about you when I was pulling these out earlier. Is this something you would use or do you just want crystals? Oh, the shelves. Yeah, this here. So I manufactured a bunch of drawers in China. Uh, these are the drawers. That is one stack, two units, and they close like that, and there you go. I have two sizes. These are the old ones. I have all the old ones I have in use. I might be able to get rid of those three, but the new ones are a little different. They, they're more suitable for rocks. You can, they can fit three flats across like this. All right, cabs, not facets. Good. Sphere. Oh, did I see, did you see spheres? Man, there's some crazy spheres up here. This is a collection sphere. This has crazy shit in it. This has got a big fucking bubble, and it's got red oil in it. See that? That's definitely part of the collection. I picked this up in Donghai when I was there on my first trip to Donghai. Look at how much bubbles and water is in that shit. Crazy. And then there's a nice <clears throat> giant ocean jasper. And these are crazy big tourmalines. Like this is like 35 pound tourmaline sphere. This is very expensive. And here's like a big palm sized one. Yeah, no, this is crazy. This bubble, look at the red. This is, it, all that red moves. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Nobody knows what it is. And it's definitely natural. And it moves a lot more if like, I actually use my hands. Here's a nice fluorite. There's a big elephant. There's a dog. Hi, Sammy. <clears throat> Alrighty. You're crying, don't cry, dear. All right. Now, what am I gonna show you? I guess there's more, there's more rocks in this box. Let's see about this little tourmaline. Tourmaline. That's a nice little Afghani piece. Mito, are you still here? You're gone. You took off. You could use a dog. Hyperventilating. Uh, no, I don't know what the oil is. I have a buddy who studied a lot of it, and there's different, there's like pink and blue and all kinds of weird fucking colors, and they're natural. I don't know what it is, though. The faceted blue guys. Yeah, that was a this is a really nice piece. Oh, where did this stick? Oh, it's this one here. This one. Yes, ginger spray. 320 was the asking on that, and I could do a little better. It's a really nice faceted stone. Mmm. Ah, yeah, the quartz sphere with the bubble is not for sale. For sure. Uh, where is it from? I think it's Madagascar. Pink and blue. I don't own them. A friend of mine does. I can make go and like steal some videos and show them eventually. Camila, what do you think? 
Yeah, absolutely. So 320, it could take 250 on that one. It's a, it's a big damn stone. Does it say how many fucking carrots is this thing? This is a lot. It's like 14 carrots. For 250? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Faceted stone. What else do we got? Oh, yeah, this guy. Humdog Bagillion Hairs. What a great name. Man, you got a great name. This one here is a really nice tourmaline. There's some lapidolite here on the bottom. This is actually a really beautiful piece. 225. Nice Brazilian. Brazilian gazillion. Oh, yeah. What's this? This is cool. This is quartz with epidote from uh, Santa Teresa Mountains in Arizona. Hell yeah. And we did that one at half price for 50 bucks. 30891 or whatever. 3277. 3236 three, million. Whee. Okay. Alright, here's a fucking cool quartz. Look at this. This is Montmorillonite inside of quartz, which is a pink lithium mineral that's a little bit rare. This is from the White Queen mine in California. And this stuff is pretty famous for quartz. And it's weird. It's got like complete quartz on one side and then the whole other side is etched out. And then it just like produced all this other weird shit. <laughs> oh, quartz fox, you are so funny. All right. So Montmorillonite. These are really fancy, crazy, cool-ass crystals from California. And that one is marked 200. Um, and there's another one. That one's 100. And last but not least, Montmorillonite. Really boring crystal from one side, but look at this. Oh, man, what's going on here? And it's pink. Pink, pink, pink. Montmorillonite. 300 on that one. All right, I'm getting tired. What are we going to do? Who's still here? What do you want to see? Who's got money? Show me the money. No, it's not all about the money. But for real, if you want to see some stuff, you want to spend some money, let's do it. Otherwise... Let's play some music and wrap it up. What do you guys think? One more time with this. <laughs> it's not the same when Nicole's not here. <laughs> so many things. Yeah, what about this? Are you talking about this? The big brown guy in the box you haven't shown above the aisle white. Is this the one you're talking about? That's a big freaking citrine twin. Fucking crazy. Red River Amethyst. Um, bum, 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 bum. Orange River. Yeah, there's a red amethyst in there. This brown, weird brown thing. This is an agate. <clears throat> no, it says 5,000, not 500. But I will definitely take less than that. This is a weird kidney-looking thing. It looks like a liver. It's a duck-billed platypus liver. This is a this is an agate. This is a this is a goby agate. A surf. This is an under-the-surface goby agate that they had to dig for. The ones, the little ones, are all on the surface. It's some weird, crazy-ass shit. Looks like kidneys. That one's Mach 350. We're going to take 200. That's pretty much what I have in it. 
And I bought it in China. China! Where it comes from. And we've got this beautiful thing. You've never heckled. What is heckling? The big, the big Japanese law of twin quotes, I will definitely go down on the alien floor the alien is 500 bucks and who was they was he was all saying it should be 3000 in the freaking what you call it gobi dagger more gobies no that's the last one i sold one other one in the covid home jam group this morning and the rest of those i sold a long time ago i might try to get some more of those this is the alien that's what that was me that said that. Yes, three thousand dollars for you. It's the best price. No, five hundred bucks. I, I don't want to take any less than that. I think it's worth at least that. It's probably worth a thousand, fifteen hundred, but I don't care. But the five hundred, I care. All right, what's next? Comedians don't like hecklers in the audience. Oh, man, no, I heckle myself. It's fine. Heckling is actually encouraged to a certain degree. <laughs> as long as it's in good humor. And what do you mean, comedian? I am crazy guy, not comedian. It is to totally normal. All right. Let's see. Chris, you want to see cabs? Do I have any cabs? I don't have any cabs on the table. Mm, that's not true. I lied. All right. Chris, you still here? Yeah, you just said here. Look, check out this cab. This is freaking cool. This is Indian. It's got a scepter with the hematite all over it and just an amethyst tip. It's just the tip is amethyst. Go figure. How cool is that? That's a cool rock. Sounds good, Noah. I got lots of calves. You want more calves than gem crystals? Because I got a fucking lot of calves. Selenite, azeshalite, or petalite. I don't have any of those. <laughs> oh, wait. What were you asking about? Oh, I don't know. Thanks for correcting me on what? I'm confused. What are you guys talking about? I might have missed a few comments. I don't know what happened there. This is 100 bucks. I need 100 bucks for that. That was cut by an American. And it wasn't cheap, but it's nice. It's a beautiful, so much beautiful. Oh, sweet. Well, you tell me what size. This is gem silica from Messina. How cool is that? It's so good it looks fake. What are you talking about? My face? <laughs> The amethyst in quartz he said was a hundred. Yeah, that's a hundred bucks. That's a really nice piece. Gem silica from Messina. Look at that. Three hundred fifty bucks. That's a beauty. Cool locality. And here is what's this called? Throw it at me, please. You want me to throw here? Well, you were gonna put your name right there. Ready? Ah! <laughs> Okay, so does that mean you want it? Throw it at me, please. I guess because I'm throwing stones. I got it, I got it. Let's see, what do we got here? Quartz box, this is... And this, with the, with the purple tip. Purple tip phantom. Perfecta mundo. Okay, doc, look at that. You got the beautiful two, beautiful, beautiful crystals. Quartz and fox. I'm going to wait on the alien if he belongs with me. It'll still be around in a few weeks. She has no willpower. Hey, uh, Camilla, you need to learn from Quartz Fox about willpower. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's very good. Use your willpower to the greatest part. 
What's this up? Gamut got a good rock. He got a great, great, great rock. The gem silica is fire for sure. All right. What else can we show you? Here's this is an Australian iron opal algae, A-L-G-E. I guess that's the locality. Let me see. Do you want me to check? Or you know, you already know you are keeping good track. Perfect, Amundo. This one is 123. That's a pretty good, pretty nice Australian dude. Look at that. All right, what else? Oh, here's one. This one might be for you, Chris. Amalite. Shmamalite. Look at that. Canadian shmamalite. It's a shmegmalite. Okay, shmegmalite. Uh, there's no skew, so you're just going to have to put the price, which if you put the number for the price, you're going to fight over it. Let's see who gets it. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do? I should probably see what, see what it weighs. 15. So shiny. I think this one needs to be 100 bucks. Oh, look, it's got boobies there. There's two big boobies on this mineral. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> now I have to keep it. Look, it's a number eight. No, no, it's not. It's boobies. It's perfect. No, I'm not keeping it. You can buy it. But it's so beautiful. That rock is on fire. All right, here's something you don't see every day and you might not ever see again. This is Savarite Garnet inside of quartz. And here's another one. Look, this is elongated Savarite Garnet in quartz. That's a fucking rarity right there. Tell you what. Tell you what. Butt Xerox, though. That's right. It's a butt Xerox. <laughs> hey, it's time for this. Ready? <laughs> Where is Nicole Margaret? And we don't need her. We need to have her on alarm. Why are you sleeping? Oh, my God. What are we going to do? You guys is crazy. All you West Coast people are like, ah, it's still early. Ooh, what was that? Shit. Shit. All righty. What else is there? Here's a blue topaz from Namibia. You'll see this is blue. The name Throwing Stones came after a Grateful Dead song. Because we were doing that kind of things. And going to music festivals and all of that things. So we came up with name like that. This is a 125 that can be $75. The Savorite in Garnet. Uh, this one is 150 And this one is expensive. I probably need like 500 bucks for that one. Because it's crazy rare. Never seen it before. 75 bucks for a blue topaz crystal. Pew, 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 beautiful. Beulah. Okay, Doc. What is next? We need to show you more minerals. More minerals. Oh, there's a nice aqua. How about that? Big old aqua. That one is marked 270, but we'll take 150 bucks. That's cheap. Not a problem. Big, beautiful aquamarine the size of my thumb. And it's a little, little beautiful aquamarine the size of 
my pinky. So what mineral boxes? You're talking about these? This is $50, can be $35 for a beautiful aquamarine. Look at that. Uh, yeah, I can sell you some of these. That's easy. It depends on what you need. Do you need, you need these two or just the inserts? Right. Yeah, you need boxes. <clears throat> and drawers. <laughs> And inserts. Yeah, just remind me. Well, let me write it down. How many do you want and what size? I'll make a note. You can message me. You don't have to do it now. Okay, I am not showing so many minerals. What is happening? I I feel like I've run out of steam. Tray storage prices. What does that mean? You mean, oh, you're talking about those? Uh... If I sell you these, one stack is $1,100 plus shipping. And I don't remember where you said Illinois. I can fit two stacks on a pallet, and it's pretty much one shipping price for one or two. And it was kind of like for just one shipment and not having a bunch of others go out, it was around like 600 bucks. So it's basically, including shipping, it's 1700 or 2800 for two stacks, including shipping. And those are the cheaper ones. The newer ones that came in are 1600 and they're a little bigger. They're wider. They're more set for minerals. Uh, and I'm taking a bunch of them to Tucson. I've already sold a bunch of them. The old ones, I would have to figure out what to do if I was going to sell them because those are probably the ones that I'd sell and they're full of rocks. I'd probably just put new ones up there, but I'd have to rearrange a little bit. So if you're serious, we can talk about it. I'll, I'll, I'm motivated to sell them because I have new ones, so I'll figure it out. But it's a lot of fucking around to figure it out. Um, all right, sweet. What else do we got? Who else has got? What do you got? Who you got? What you got? What do you want to see? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Look at this. 35 bucks. Don't sleep on that. That's, that's fucking free. Look, it's got warts. Aquamarine with warts. Beautiful. All right, sleep on it. Just sleep on it. Go ahead and sleep on it. Huh? What about peribatormalines? Peribatormalines for cheap? Not cheap. They're less than the prices that you see. So what's that? That's five twenty-five. We'll take three seventy-five on this guy. Peribatormalines. This is nine fifty. We're gonna take six hundred on that pair. Eight fifty. We're gonna take five hundred on that pair. Oh, that's a good pair. And I don't know what that pair is. That one's expensive. My wish list is expanding by the hour. Yes, that is very danger. You can it can have very danger with Rusty. Don't worry, be happy. All right, what about this? We're gonna get you. One of you is gonna buy this. This is Sujolite beads. Here, look. Normally a hundred bucks. We're gonna take seventy dollars. Just beads. It's not a necklace. You see? Oh, I got a, I got a pee. <laughs> Should have done that in between. In between sets. All right. So I'm running down to the end. What do you guys got? Entertain me. Entertain me. Jeez Louise. All right. What about this? Uh, any other bead strands? Yes, I do have some other random bead strands I can show you. Here's a crazy pyromorphite. This is really nice. That's 88 bucks. We're gonna take 70 bucks on that one. 
Just go pee. Yes, I'm actually going to get I'm gotten to the point where I can't wait any longer. <laughs> All right, one more rock, then I'm going to pee. Oh, full moon howlers. Is it tonight? It's not tonight. It's tomorrow night, isn't it? Oh, Moldavite. Shit. Yes, we could totally do Moldavite. Claim Pyromorphite. Here's the second one. That one's 65 bucks. This one's 70. That's really good. You got it. All right, I'm going to go. I'll be right back. I got to pay. Give me two minutes or less. Oh, silly. What are you doing, baby? I'm precious. Alrighty, I'm back. What happened while I was gone? Happy full moon indeed. Is tonight the full moon or is it tomorrow? Grand price on Moldavite. I don't know about the grand price on Moldavite because I just priced it out. I have to look at it. Uh, let's see. Beads, what are the sizes? Um, full moon in two hours, huh? Is it really tonight? It sure looks full. It's bright as heck out there. I tell you what, I'm going to have to get in the hot tub after this. Oh, let's see, let's see. Beads, beads, beads. Where's all the beads? Beads, where are you? Beads, I know you are here. Beads, what are you doing? Beads, come on, man. Oh, there we go. There's some little bit of beads. I have more beads somewhere, but I'm not going to go get them right now. Okay, so what do we got? I got this. These are lava beads. Those can be like, I don't know, 15 bucks for that strand. Right. Um, here's amethyst. I've got 35. We'll do 30 on that strand. And carnelian, 30 bucks. And the lapis. Uh, no, those are all bigger. The, the, the lava was eight. The rest of them are 10 and 11s, I think. This, these are sixes. And that's 20 bucks on those. All right. That's all the beads that I have in front of me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, there's these. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. These are marked. This is Blue Child Sydney. These are marked 50, but we can do those for probably 35. All right. No more beads. What else? What else am I doing here? It's time for sleeping. I mean... Or trying to sleep, going to hot tub. <laughs> oh yeah, these are cool. How about this? Ooh. Unless you saw them here before. Claim lapis. All right, got you. Anything else? Tiempo de sueño. Are you going to sleep too, buddy? All right, Camila, I got you on that. And I got to write it down. Twenty-five. 
twenty. Alrighty, who's still around? What you got? What you got? Descansa, mi hermano. Hey, un momento, amigo. Necesitas, uh, necesitas escuchar algo música antes de dormir. ¿Por qué no? How about a lullaby? I'm going to do a lullaby from lo for, for Noah here. Clearance moldy. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Mo never mind, Noah. You got to go. You got to go. I'm going to keep going. Clearance moldy. Yeah, we're going to do moldavite next. Why the fuck not? Here, this is, uh, these are covalite beads. Covalite from Montana. This is fucking crazy cool. Covalite from Montana beads. They are bracelets. They are $200. All right, clearance moldavite. Yeah, let's clear out some room for some clearance moldavite. Clearance, clearance. Got your clearance, clearance. Okay, let's see. Move, 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 everyone. Box, box, box. Go, go, go. All right. You guys ready for Moldavite? Who's still here? Flork, are you still here? Let me take a look. Yep. Flork and Gamut, you guys want to see some Moldavite? Why not? I'm gonna. I'm. You might be able to take advantage of me right now with Moldavite. The Covalites aren't going anywhere. All right, let's start with this one here. Here's a Moldavite. 60 bucks on that one. We're going to take $40. It's 1.5 grams. Nice elongated piece, good for jewelry. 40 bucks. Here's another one. This is marked 60. We're going to take 40. That's 2.3 grams. Forty bucks on that one. And this one here is marked 94. 2.6 grams. I'm going to take 60 bucks. Claim second one. All right, there you go. Prickly chloom hitters. I don't have a good variety of moldavite, so I'm not sure I'm gonna. Hear. I have some jewelry that fits that description, but not too much loose. All right, Camila, I got you on that. I need to write it down. Let's see what else we can do. You're only looking for raw? Because I do have stuff like this. This is, this is the spark, sparkly chloom. This is finished jewelry. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? This one. That one's 95. We'll take 60. And do 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 this one. This one has got a curve on it, like a little J, a belt buckle. And eleven point five marked four seventy, but we're gonna do let's do let's do three hundred bucks. Mm. 10 point 
six. And here's here's a decent one. Wow, 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 wow. This is 10.6 grams. And we're going to do 250 on that one. It's nice. 250 that one. Uh, this one's marked 50. We, we can take 35 on that. I'm going to cut a good stone. What is this? Marked 69. We're going to take 45 on that one. All right. I don't know what else I can show you for good moldavite. I don't have a lot. It's all mostly in jewelries. A bunch of little pieces. Take the 10 gram one, and that is... This one for 250, is that the one? And this one actually could be sweet. That's the one, right? Ten, yeah, it was 10.6. Perfect. All righty. So we got Perfecta Mundo. Oh, look at this bad boy. He is a very nice Quan Yin carving in Moldavite. Kuan Yin, uh, what else do we have here? Where's the big pieces? Bizzes, 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 All right, here's one. This is 5.8 grams. And this one can be 100 bucks. 100 dollars, this one. Moldavite needs to be carved into Kali. <laughs> 100 bucks for this one. 5.8 grams. That's stupidly low. Crazy cheap. Why, Rusty? Why? I don't know. The Black Star Quartz, uh, um, um, uh, 200 bucks. It's the biggest one I ever found. We'll do 180. Biggest Star Quartz ever found. That was written in 2003. <laughs> I don't know if they've found any big ones since then. 180 I can do. Yeah, that's what makes it that's what makes it special is the stars. I was probably moving too fast, <laughs> or I didn't say it. <clears throat> All right. Claim 180, I got it. Can I see the spiky necklaces? What are the spiky necklaces? You mean pendants, Moldavite? I don't understand. Need more clarification.
would you say? Um, spiky necklaces. Uh, Flork, I need more information. Did you say? It won't let me say the P word. P. Spiky. Why am I having such a hard time with this? <laughs> pendants. What the fuck? <laughs> I won't let you say pendants. That's so weird. You talking about these? Spiky. These are these are chloom. Chloom. These are chloom. Oh, no light. It wasn't a gold wire wrap, it's just tarnished silver. Um, I don't know which one I picked up. There's this guy. This guy. That's a really nice one. Hello, Natalie Catley, how are you doing? Uh, this guy. All right. What do you like? <laughs> what do you like? I'll see what I can do. That one's 320. That's right. It is green crack time. Time for cracking out on green. There's pickle. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Give me some direction long one and the one to the left of it the long one and this one okay so the long one uh, let's see here uh this one I can do for Two thirty on this one, and this one. And this one can be two hundred, two thirty, two hundred. Let's see. The, long one. the bottom one is the bottom right one. Whoever lowest Rasta tourmaline. The Rasta tourmaline is just. Under 10 grams or just over 10 grams? It's 9.8 grams. Uh, I'll take 500. Bottom right, this one. Two hundred. Two hundred on that one. All right. I am fading fast. So, if you would like to wrap up something, let's do it. I'm looking forward to playing you some music. And I'm looking forward to turning off the camera. <laughs> Six hours is enough. You do 20 a gram for those two. What, these two? No, I don't want to go that low. That's what I paid for this one. No, I'm sorry, man. No, that's 200 and 230. 200 and 220 is that's the best I can do on those. Uh, Hawaii I showed th these earlier. I don't know if you noticed this one. This one came out of my collection and it's for sale. Yeah, 
Yeah, we actually, that doesn't surprise me. We got rid of our shipper, shippers and shipping department, and I'm packing up most of everything, especially fragile now, so I'll triple make sure that it's fine. I'm really sorry about that. You should have said something when they crumb, crumble in transit, like I'll at least give you credit or something. So, ah, uh, white papago, this is a crazy freaking thing. This is 1800 bucks, but look at it. I mean, it's just like everything under the sun. And I think there's a little Ahoite in there, too. So there's that. And there's this. I have inexpensive Ahoite and Papagoite, less than 200 bucks, but they're all, they're all kind of boring. <laughs> they don't have a lot of color at all, so I don't even really want to show them. Unless that's what you want, but it's really not a lot of color. This is another Papagoi coming out of my collection. This is from the Bullseye Pocket. You can see the Bullseyes. I put 2300 on this. I'll take less, but, you know, you got to really want it. It's a beautiful thing. It's a historical pocket, and it's a nice crystal. This is from the Fireworks Pocket. 18 Pakistani monies. Yes, that's right. There's a... Fireworks pocket, Shattakite, that's 300 bucks. Inexpensive Papagoite. Like these two. And that one, and where is it? Wait. Yeah, so like this one's 200. This one is 150. can see it's not that one has more color than the other ones but incomplete that one's 250 a little bit of color on the side not really a complete well, it's complete up there you know this is what the inexpensive box looks like uh this box is also available for wholesale if you want the whole box it's a hundred bucks a piece for 30 pieces take them all Blue ringed octopus friend. Can't believe you did three shows today. I know. Holy shit. I did three shows today. I can't believe it either. And I probably won't do a show tomorrow night because <laughs> I'm doing it now. But we'll see. Maybe if I get a hankering, I'll turn the camera back on tomorrow for Cyber Monday. But I know everybody's working and still. Yeah, it's very exciting. They are nice. Oh, the green kunzite. That's from California. This is trifane, which is a yellow kunzite it, it it has been repaired right here in the center but it's still a really nice piece it's from the pallet chief mine in cali and that's pretty cool it's got 1800 on it but i'll definitely take less than that okay anything else because i am finished we can, if you got to think about some of these, if there's something that's on your mind that you've already seen, hopefully you got screenshots and notes. We can talk about it later. If you want to do something now, we can do it. Hankering. Yeehaw. Y'all diddly do. Moranji, you need to stick around to make sure you make some, some cheese while I play some hand pan. <laughs> Okie dokie. Mmm. The lives are, oh, you know, this, yeah, they get saved by Instagram. And we can, we post them afterwards. They all, they should all go to the page. And a lot of them go to YouTube as well, but not all of them, especially not the, the, the midnight comeback overs, but maybe they do. I don't know.
just had fun tonight. Cyber Cyber Monday. Go out there and spend some money with a small business. Thank you for supporting ours. We need it. <laughs> Just like lots of people. And we're super grateful. side <laughs> yes Instagram has a little bit a few things that are cool <laughs> all right everybody have a great night have a great week there's a 20% chance that I'm gonna do a live show again on Monday night I don't know if I can but we're gonna try to pack for Japan I'm doing a live show from my Japan show in on Sunday night in two Sundays from now. That's going to be cool because it'll be Monday morning there. It's the last day of the show and it's like the perfect time to do a live show. So I'm going to take you around the show and show you some shit. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Blessings. Thank you again. We'll see you next time.